Hi everyone, my name is Katie and I'm very excited to film today's video because I cannot even recall the last time I filmed a tag video. Someone's gonna comment and be like, you did one a week ago. But to me at least, it feels like it's been months and months since I have. I was tagged by two people to do this. At first, Joss over at Scribbles Reads and then Heather over at Bookables. They're both wonderful and two of my favorite booktubers, so I'll make sure to link their channels down below. So this tag I really like because it's kind of reflective about your own channel. So I'm definitely gonna make sure to tag some people at the bottom in the description box but if you make videos make sure to film this video as well okay so number one how old is your channel um it's a lot older than I thought it was so it's technically four years old but I'm coming right up on the cusp of the five-year mark which is insane so I technically started this channel back in February of 2012 number two what are your favorite videos to make this is probably no surprise but my favorite videos are just singular spoiler free book reviews so just a five six minute video reviewing one book and it's not necessarily the those that are my favorite overall to film but just if I really love the book or if I really hate the book then those are definitely my favorite videos to film because I just love reviewing books that I'm passionate about either way I know that they're not necessarily the most popular videos to film views wise but it's just what I like to do number three what is one piece of advice you would give to someone wanting to join booktube so I'll say one piece of advice super quickly because it's something everybody says and then I'll give you one kind of more practical piece of advice but the thing everybody says that it is definitely very true is to make sure to make Make content that's authentic to what you enjoy making and what you're passionate about. So just because say haul videos and TBR videos and things like that get the most views, just, just make whatever kind of videos you personally like to make. But the more so like straightforward and practical piece of advice I would give is there have been at least like 10, 15 times where when I go into the comment section and I see on say other people's videos and I'm looking at comments or at my own comments, there have been so many times where I've had great conversations with people in the comment section and I'll recognize their username or their their face and it will and it will take me a solid year before I realize that person has a booktube channel and that's usually because their username and their profile picture neither of them is book related so obviously I'm not saying these are steadfast rules do whatever obviously you like but I do think it's helpful just in terms of getting your channel out there to either have your username be somewhat book related or to have your kind of profile picture be somewhat book related at least when you're starting out obviously it doesn't have to be both it doesn't necessarily have to be either but I think if one or the other is book related that is really Really helpful. Number four, since joining booktube, have you run into any foreseen challenges? And I'm going to combine this with number six, which what is your favorite aspect of booktube? Because they're kind of related. So I'll start off with the good and then get into the bad. Because my favorite aspect of booktube is also something I struggle with as well. So my favorite aspect are definitely the discussions we have. But when you think about it, compared to the beauty community or the gaming community or the say comedy community on YouTube, I've, I've never come across a community on booktube that is so discussion focused. And I think that's wonderful and I think it's definitely one of the best and most unique aspects of our community. At any given time, whether it be on YouTube or say on Twitter or on Instagram, anything that's book related, I'm not just talking about booktube, there are so many wonderful conversations going on. So that's definitely, I think, the best and most unique aspect. However, in terms of unforeseen challenges, and I'm, but me personally, and I'm not talking about in terms of anybody else, this is just me possibly being a bit of a baby, I get really fearful and I've been this way kind of for a really long time of having discussions on Twitter. I love discussion videos, but I personally get kind of scared of having discussions on Twitter. I want, and I do want to be clear because there was a discussion recently where a lot of people were saying they're like fearful of having discussions about diversity on Twitter because they're worried about getting attacked or things like that. So I'm not talking about diversity discussions because the ones at least I've seen, and, and obviously this is just based off of the people I follow, but the diversity discussions I've seen are just wonderful and I love that aspect of the community. So I'm not saying I'm fearful of that realm. So that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is I just think for me personally, Twitter is a really difficult place to have a good discussion because it's so hard to fit the entire context and the entire intent of what you're trying to say into just 140 characters. And I know you might say, well, Katie, you can just like reply to yourself and make a thread. But a lot of times people don't read the whole thread. They'll just look at the first tweet you send out and then they'll re-quote it and say something and blast you on their Twitter and just change the context and morph it. And I know I'm being a baby with this um, because I'm sure that happens to everyone and there are so many people who are so good at having discussions on Twitter I love reading them and retweeting them I guess I should give a couple examples just to be clear of what I'm talking about and I won't say any names for any of this obviously for example I saw this happen to one booktuber I really like and she was just saying that she didn't like Fifty Shades of Grey for a few reasons and someone like quoted her tweet and like blasted her and tried to change the context to make it seem as if she didn't like that people read about sex and that she was a prude which obviously is not the context of what she was saying the, the last 
last time I can think that it happened to me was I was trying to have a discussion about like photoshopping on Instagram and YouTube, you know, and I wanted to have a discussion about how photoshopping has an effect on young people as they grow up. So I had screenshot a picture of a company's picture where it was like very photoshopped and was talking about that and someone requoted my tweet and tried to make it out as if I judge people who wear makeup, which I think if you watch my channel for any length of time, you guys know I'm not a judgmental person whatsoever. So sorry that answer was super long, but I was combining two questions and that's something I just kind of get heated about. But you know what? I just need to grow some lady balls and just be more open to having discussions on Twitter. Number five, what is your favorite book or series you read because of booktube? I think there's so many I could choose, but one off the top of my head would be The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. This is a fiction book that has a touch of magical realism that's told from a few different perspectives of people who either work or are a prisoner on death row. And it's fascinating. It's really dark and depressing, but also beautiful. And I think it was Rincey Reads and Adultish Book who I heard about that book from. N number seven, want to spread the book to love? Give at least one newbie a shout out. So I know I'm kind of cheating with this question because this person isn't technically a newbie, but she deserves so many more subscribers than she has. And I know no one like technically deserves subscribers, but you guys know what I'm getting at. But just her channel is wonderful and I wish a lot more people would watch her even though she's not technically new. But her name is Allison Teresa. She's finishing up, I believe it's her bachelor's in English in creative writing, although she can correct me if I'm wrong. And she reads a lot of books that I really like. So if you like Gone Girl or Silence of the Lambs, I just think you guys would really love her videos. So definitely go ahead and check her out. So number eight is who you tag. And at this point, I do not know. So I'll put some names up on the screen probably or down in the description box. So I hope you guys like this video. I know I don't film a ton of tags, but this one was a lot of fun. And if there are any other tags you want me to film, definitely let me know and, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.